Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and I want to welcome you to my very first YouTube video. It's going to um, take place over like two days. So today I'm going to Second and Charles for the first time because I have a ton of books <laughs> to sell. Probably about 40. I'm going to see how much I can get for them. I'm going to get more books to restock my shelves. So today I'm just going to be selling, figuring out what they have, what I want, might buy a few things, and then tomorrow I'm going back to buy my whole book haul. So I'm going to take you on both days. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so... I know I hardly filmed in this store, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I am not used to vlogging, so I was really uncomfortable. And my mom was with me, so I did the best I could. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little haul of the things I got today. Uh, to start out, I'm just gonna tell you what I did. I had a big bag of probably about 40 books, maybe a little bit less, maybe like 37 or so. And I turned that in, I got, $14.55 of store credit for about 40 books. 40 books. I got $14. So I wouldn't really say <laughs> that was the best deal. I wasn't expecting a lot of money. Um, but for that many books, I was hoping for at least maybe like 20 bucks. <laughs> um, I also don't know how many they took and how many they put in their free bin or their donation bin. What was more important to me anyway was just getting rid of all those books because I needed to clean out my bookshelf, get it updated because I had some old stuff from like elementary school. You could probably get more money by selling them on like Facebook Marketplace or whatever, but this felt safer <laughs> to me. I'm kind of scared of selling stuff online, so I just did whatever I could. I keep touching my hair and I just sound sorry. After the coupon and the bookstore, or, sorry, the store credit, I only paid $28.02 and that was for five books. So just to put that kind of in perspective, I bought five books, brand new books on Amazon a few weeks ago and it cost me about $60. Out of the five books I got, I only bought one that I've already read. Um, it's one of my favorite books in the world. So I was like, I need to have this on my shelf. I don't know why I don't already. <laughs> and then, um, out of the five books I bought, I only bought one book brand new because I couldn't find it in the used section and I'm dying to read this book. <laughs> so I bought that one brand new. I just caved. I couldn't help it. I probably could have gotten it cheaper on Amazon, but I'm tired of waiting for this book. I have to read it as soon as possible. This is the one I've already read. I got The Great Gatsby. Um, I actually have not seen this cover ever before. The um, kind of traditional cover with the you know, like the eyes, TJ Eckelberg and all that stuff. That was about $18 and I couldn't find a used one. So I got this book for $5.97, if you can't tell by the giant sticker on the front. Um, like I said, I've already read The Great Gatsby. It's one of my favorite books in the whole world. I had a Great Gatsby themed 18th birthday party. I just love this book. I like the um, cover because I've never seen the cover before. Um, and it's really thin, but there's a lot of words on one page. <laughs> the text, the print is really small. So um, I'm really excited to have this one. This was a must have for me. The next two books I got are part of a series. I was actually to able to find, I think, most of the series, maybe except for the last book. Um, I didn't buy those two. They're more expensive because they're bigger books. But I think when I go back tomorrow, I'm going to buy them. So I got The Red Queen. Um, which is part of the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard and um, Glass Sword. So this is the first book and the second book of the series. I found the third and fourth books. I think there's a fifth. I'm not sure. Um, so I can't see the original price on these, but the Red Queen, this one here, was $7.95 and the Glass Sword was also $7.95. And they're, I mean, they're not great condition, but really they're pretty good and I really wanted to read these I read my first book that I ever read from her was Realm Breaker that she just released this year and I loved it and I'm really excited to read these this next book please don't judge me 
This book does not have very good reviews on Goodreads. I did not know that <laughs> until after I bought it, but I picked it up and it looked interesting and I was like, I have to try. <sighs> they had multiple copies of this book and the pretty one was more expensive than the one I bought. It's about a $3 difference. The pretty one was about seven bucks and some change. This one was $4.15 and because I was buying a brand new book that cost like double everything I bought, I decided to go with the ugly cover. It is absolutely heinous. I'm so sorry. But the other book I got was Beautiful Creatures. This is also part of a series. I've heard mixed reviews about this. Um, so if I don't like it, I probably won't read the rest of the series. I might even take it back to that store and turn it in for more store credit. Um, but yeah, the cover, absolutely heinous. I hate it. It's horrible. I like the um, solid color covers here, but I had to try, you know, save some money. So I'm going to read this probably at some point. I don't know how popular this is with BookTube and BookTok and whatever. This is probably like the only one I got that I haven't really seen on those. But I did have a friend from high school that told me um, she read this and she really enjoyed it. So I'm going to give it a shot. It's not at the top of my TBR. The book that I bought brand new that I absolutely had to have. <laughs> I'm so excited. A Court of Thorns and Roses. I have wanted to read this so bad since I started book talk and I've seen it everywhere. I could not find any of SJ Mass's books um, used. I was able to find one and it was like, it was part of the series, but it was like the fourth or fifth book. And I was like, I can't buy that. <laughs> Um, because I can't even find the first one used. So I caved and I bought this one. Um, brand new. It cost me $18. That's a lot. It's kind of steep for, you know, buying books at a used bookstore, trying to get stuff cheap. <laughs> but I'm really, really excited to read this. It's definitely at the top of my TBR, but I have other series that I'm working on that I kind of want to finish. Hey guys, I'm back and I have another book haul for you. So I hope I was able to get a decent amount of footage in the store. I am so pleased with the outcome of today. So to just give you a little background, I prepped for this last night. <laughs> so my main goal was not to spend any more than $50. I succeeded, I spent $42. <laughs> my other goals were to try and find things on my list but I also made a new list of books that I really wanted to read, but I haven't seen a lot on Book Talk. So I pretty much succeeded in that. And then my third goal was to just look for books that looked good and pick them up and maybe give Book Talk a new recommendation if it ends up being good. So in total today, I spent $42 and I got seven to 10 books depending on how you want to look at it, and I'll explain why in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the books I got. I bought seven to ten books, and I haven't read a single one of them yet. Um, I'm going to start with the more popular books that I got, and I'm really excited. About I got Legendborn. It's hardcover. Um, I got this for $9.50. I think that's a really good deal, especially for a hardcover book that's as popular as this one is. I'm really excited to read it. TikTok made me do it. <laughs> the other book I got um, that's pretty popular on BookTok is The Clockwork Angel. So I have read um, all of the Mortal Instruments series. I only have one of the books uh, that I own. I almost bought them all today, but I'm trying to buy books that I haven't read yet. Um, 
but I loved all of them. I also have Chain of Gold. I haven't read that yet, but I adore um, this author. I adore the Shadow Hunters, the whole world. I just love this book so much, and I know this one is really good, so I really wanted to read it, and I picked this one up. I got it for $6.75. Um, it's used, but it's basically brand new, and it also matches... Um, the copy of the city of bones that i have so i would say that these two are the most popular books um that i bought today I'm not disappointed by them i'm so excited i got them um and as for for as cheap as i did too that's really great so the next book i got i saw this on booktube i was trying to watch videos about popular books and alternatives for them that aren't so popular but are just as good or better so I saw this book in a video. I'll link the video in the description down below because I cannot remember the YouTuber's name or what the video is, but I will make sure I link it in, down below so you guys can watch it. But I saw this book on her list and I picked it up and Ember in the Ashes. Um, I am so excited to read this. This looks so good. Again, this is a hardcover book. Um, I got this for $9.60. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, it looks great like it's used but it looks like it's brand new so um i'm really happy with this one as well i'll make sure you guys can watch that video if you're interested in kind of picking up some books that's not like the same 13 books everyone on tiktok reads so i'm really excited to read this uh the next books i got i think i've seen this on book talk before i'm not sure but it looks really good and I wanted to pick it up. So I got All the Bright Places. Um, I got it for $5.20. Uh, it looks really good. I'm really interested in reading it. Um, I think I've seen it before on Booktube and BookTok or whatever. I'm not positive, but I don't think it's one that I've seen a lot because I feel like if it was, I would have remembered it. <laughs> but I'm really excited to read this one. The next book I got was kiss of deception i found this book on my own it wasn't on any of my list i'm so excited to read this this looks really good um it was two dollars and 95 cents so really cheap for a book that looks awesome and i mean brand new i love the cover it's pretty i usually don't like covers with real people on them but this one's really pretty um yeah this one i found on my own i'm excited to read it, it wasn't on any of my list um, and it has a sequel to it, so, you know, it might be another series I can pick up and read. This next book I got is a romance. <laughs> um, it looked really good, so I went ahead and picked it up. This is another one I just found on my own, didn't have on any of my lists or anything. This is Going Too Far. Um, I got this for $3.70. It looks really good. Excited to read this one as well. That's a pretty small book, like, I could probably read that in a day, but... That's the other book I got. Uh, one of the only ones I got that's not fantasy, <laughs> but I think it's going to be really good. So this book that leaves um, the total number of books I got up for grabs, I'm going to let you decide if you think I got seven books or ten. So I got this book. This is Kissed by an Angel. Um, it's really thick, as you can see, because it is three books in one. It's a trilogy. So it's Kissed by an Angel, The Power of Love, and Soulmates. Um, three books in one. I got this book, or books if you want to call it that, for $3.80. That is a steal for three books in one, and it's in good condition. Seven to ten books today. If you combine it with the five books that I bought yesterday at Second and Charles, that makes 12 to 15 books in two days. And my shelves are filling up pretty quickly. So I'm really happy with my purchases. I really recommend going to Second and Charles if you've never been. Um, the other thing is, I know yesterday I said I was going to buy the rest of the Red Queen series. And I went to it first. That was the first thing I looked at. Someone picked up the third book in between yesterday and today. So they only had the fourth book there. And I only had the first two. So unfortunately, I decided not to get the fourth book and have the third missing. Um, I really wish I would have picked it up yesterday, but I didn't, so I'll get it another time. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, my first vlog, and my first booktube book haul. 
Um, I can't wait to tell you guys about these books after I read them, but I'm officially on a book buying ban until after Christmas. I'm hoping that these will get me through until then. If you're interested in following me on Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, you can find those links in the description below. And I'll also put in that YouTube video I mentioned earlier so you can watch it as well. I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye!